We have been honored as a club every so often uh, with Hope and with Blaine's assistance to lead us so well in the bell ringing that they have a special announcement that they wanted to make. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm so encouraged by you all passing on your schedule for bell ringing already. Um, we just got started at a few locations. But we weren't so busy with this award. You all were second place red pedal town group in the same thing. And you all really thousand dollars for the foundation on wow. it. <laughs> 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 inspiration for school one. I am in the Kwanzaa, so uh, uh, yeah. you're, you're, you're cooking the book. <laughs> Or how many legs we need to break at the end of the yeah. <laughs> I, I believe that the Kiwanis Club raised just over 10000 Okay. Yeah. So what about the players, the way, guys? We're talking about having another day of reading. Oh. So, you know, we can uh, play. And uh, yeah. 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 Very interesting. Yeah. 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 So, what we need to do is ring the bell 12% harder. <laughs> And we're going to raise it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Annoy we'll, we'll take a photo at the end of the Thank you all very much. This will be the first ones to sign it. They're over here. At the new one. Thank nice you, ladies. Appreciate it. Now, if we have no other business. I'm putting a word in right now. Okay. All right. No other business. Here we go. Let's go with our speaker for today, Lane. Would you please step up? I uh, You will do that. I'm just going to bring them up for you. Come on. Come on up. <laughs> and uh, are you by yourself? Are you yes, by yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to let Al introduce you, and we'll go from there. Okay. Thank you, Al. I've enjoyed talking to Lane a couple of times, being up today. It's great. I think that everybody's really interested in this Buckner program because we've got one of our bigger crowds we've had here lately. So nice. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you might have to share. Lane sent me his uh, bio. He was born and raised in Clarkstown, Kentucky. <coughs> graduated from the U of L College of Business. He worked for Kroger for 17 years, began as a bagger, and worked his way up. I think that's awesome. He had, he's been a oh, we sure. at five different stores between uh, Owensboro, Madisonville, Barchtown, and now Buckner. And it strikes me that if we don't beat the Kiwanis Club, <laughs> It's your fault because you'll be taking customers from the Kroger and LaGrange. We just need to start ringing the bell over here. I'm going to do it. Welcome, Lane. We're really glad awesome. to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this feels really official. It's, you know, running a grocery store is not normally uh, giving presentations, but uh, I appreciate you guys inviting me out. Uh, it's been, you know, from day one being in the community. Um, you know, we felt extremely welcome just, you know, getting to meet with different leaders, different groups in the community. Uh, and then, you know, this is just one more step in that direction. So uh, really great getting to come and talk to you guys. So, you know, really just what we what we do at the store. So if you haven't been in to see it, uh, this store is probably the most beautiful, well laid out store that we have in our entire division. Uh, which stretches southern Indiana, southern Illinois, uh, all across Kentucky, central Kentucky, eastern Kentucky. Um, lots of great stores that we have. Uh, this one is actually what we call a prototype store. So that, you know, you see many different Kroger layouts, many different formats. And what they've gone to is trying to, um, you know, really prototype these stores and, and build them in a certain way and, and learn from each one as they go forward. Uh, and this one was really, you know, it, it has benefited from a lot of great improvements uh, in the prototype. So my my district manager and I, uh, we actually had to fly out to Arizona. We went out there to visit a few stores that were built like this one. Uh, but you can see changes as you come in here. 
uh, from those that really benefit the, the, the customer experience and associate experience. But um, this store in particular, you know, it's a 106,000 square foot store, uh, traditional grocery store. So at one time it had talked about being a marketplace and, um, you know, they, they'd gone a different direction with that. So now we, we have the blessing of a large, you know, traditional uh, grocery store. And when you go in, you know, really the first thing you notice is just how big, how open, how fresh uh, the store is. And that's truly all by design, right? So when you come in the front door, you've got floral and Starbucks and produce just really greet you at the front door. Um, wide open, you know, it's easy to shop through all of those departments. Um, you know, then you're met with bakery. So, you know, it continues to be fresh. Lots of great people over there in our bakery department. Um, and then you turn the corner and you've got this fresh alley. So there's no other store uh, that you're going to shop in here uh, that is truly fresh driven uh, like we are here with, with that power alley is kind of what we, power alley, fresh alley is what we really call that. And it really starts to feel like a market uh, as you get around there and see uh, deli and meat department. Um, and then as you shop across the store, you'll notice like the, the aisles are uh, much wider than any other store you're, you're used to going into. So uh, for us, you know, that was that's a learning that they had brought back uh, in this prototype and, um, you know, just to make it a better experience for you guys. Um, you know, you've seen so we've got pharmacy, little clinic uh, and then hopefully soon to be a tenant space that's up in the other front corner of the store. Um, so they've also been. You know, our pharmacy business is picking up, lots of transfers coming in. Uh, and then the little clinic has actually mm -hmm. also been seeing uh, quite a few people. So really good kind of, um, you know, quick in and out if you're needing uh, some medical there. But uh, as a store, we employ uh, just over 270 associates right now, um, which is, you know, we were, we were so blessed to be able to staff the store uh, how we how we did uh, the community was amazing the chamber of commerce helped us get get out uh, communication that we were hiring with you know there was just so much uh, information that got out there for us um, to where we were able to get hired to be able to open when we did um, <laughs> that's not necessarily the case that you see in this uh, this climate right now right you hear a lot about being short-handed um, you go in a lot of places closing early because they don't have people or uh, different things and uh, truly blessed to have the staff that we've got here. Um, probably 250 of those 270 uh, are new to Kroger. And that is, you know, that's a huge accomplishment. It's, it's so neat to see that many new people uh, come into the store, you know, especially when, um, you know, he's, I started out as a bagger and got to work, work my way up. So, you know, this truly is a great opportunity for, you know, a lot of our young folks, a lot of uh, people going to college, a lot of the different things we do to, to offer them opportunities in, um, you know, learning, learning the workforce, learning how to become leaders and, be, you know, an opportunity for them to work their way up um, with this company. Uh, we do a lot of different things for uh, our associates around, uh tuition reimbursement. So we help, you know, as you've got students, we, we already employ quite a few students at, uh, at the store. You'll see them as you come in. Um, great group of young kids. It's, um, you know, one of the things I missed about leaving Bartstown was, you know, it's this, a very similar, um, you know, youth base uh, as what you have here. And, you know, it takes, and what we do, uh, it takes a good group of of youth to be able to uh, make that happen. So um, was truly happy to see them here. Great group of kids. Uh, but we offer tuition reimbursement for them to be able to help them, um, you know, afford college and, and be able to go do the things that uh, get an education and move on to, to other things. Um, and you'll see us as we start to get our feet under us. So, you know, when you think about 20 of our people have an experience and the other 250 kind of learning as we go through this. So you'll see us kind of getting our feet back under us from this last couple of weeks of business. But as we, as we grow and, and our team gets more confident and more um, comfortable with what we're doing, you'll start to see us take, uh, you know, I love seeing the service above self peace. You'll see us start to take a role uh, in serving in the community, um, a huge piece for, for Kroger 
you know, I think you already see us a lot, you know, out sponsoring and out doing different things, but you actually see us as a team uh, start to gather and do different things out in the community where we can volunteer. So uh, definitely look forward to that piece. Um, and that's, you know, truly a lot, you know, we just, we focus on, you know, creating a place where our associates love to work. Uh, so that can create a place where our customers love to shop. And if you've been in there, hopefully you've seen that come to life. Uh, and if you haven't been in there, you're, you're missing out. So, uh, but, you know, I think you said save some time for some questions. So yeah. I don't know if, uh, if anybody has any questions about, yes. Sure. It is. So um, that's actually a neat program. Um, so it's the rebranding. So sushi here looks different than sushi that the other sushi departments you're going to see in other stores. Uh, it's a franchise program. So they actually own that franchise. We give them the space. Give yeah, That's a terrible word. We, <laughs> we provide them the space. There's a contract between us that provides them the space uh, to be able to run that franchise. Um, and that franchise actually, um, you, you know, it, it's a similar way for sushi or in-store cut fruit program. Um, it offers a, um, you know, kind of a vessel th this way for uh, people to move to the United States and, and have a business and have be able to create a way of life for themselves. Um, and, you know, there's a huge waiting list for, you know, these different cut fruit programs, franchises, sushi franchises for them to be able to come over and do what they do. Um, so they own that business. Um, they, they take care, they manage it, they staff it, they do everything. We just provide them that space. They are not. Um, they are employed by, well, I mean, they're self-employed. They own that franchise uh, through AFC, um, which you'll see them rebranding as Zinshi. Uh, but other stores do have it. Um, you know, some stores have it made in the store store like we do here other stores someone will make it um, at, at a store like this one and then take it to those stores and they'll have a different case for it uh, what does an average full-time employee earn in a year so it's going to vary for us because in full-time um, you know we've got different rates based on if they're a department leader if they're assistant department leader uh, if they're a a lead uh, or a specialist. We've got different roles uh, because we truly believe in helping train and develop uh, our teams to be able to be able to move up. Um, so, you know, we hired at 1650. Um, that was on our big billboard out there, which was, um, you know, it was the right thing to do. That's a great rate for us to be able to, to hire at. Um, I, I tell them all the time that uh, when I started with Kroger, I think it was 525 mm -hmm. uh, and here we are at 1650. So, um, and then, you know, it can go all the way up to, um, our department leaders making no, just over 25. So it's going to fall in an average between that 1650 and $25 an hour. Benefits, Absolutely. So some of the best health benefits, you know, even, so when I was a deli manager, assistant deli manager, our, our health benefits um, for our hourly associates, I tell them all the time, theirs are actually better than mine uh, to manage the store. So very affordable, um, the cheapest insurance I've ever seen in, you know, in anything I've done and truly does cover so much for them and their family. Um, so health, dental, vision. And then we also still do, you know, one of the last few grocery retailers that does a pension uh, for our associates. So, you know, we contribute each, uh, you know, several thousands of dollars each month for each associate, um, you know, based on if they're full-time, part-time, and then they're vested in that after five years and that, you know, what they're able to draw from it goes up as they, you know, they gain years of service. Yes, sir. Uh, how many people, did, did anybody transfer from the range program? Yes, sir. So I don't have the final. I don't. I, if I gave you a number, I would be guessing. Um, I would say probably ten ish. Um, you, you'll see a couple of them on the front end. Um, so some friendly faces that you were used to over 
uh, in LaGrange on the front end, you'll see here. Uh, and then one of the pharmacists and two pharmacy technicians from the LaGrange store transferred over. Um, and then one in Delhi. I know you're getting somebody in, in January. We'll get a couple more in January. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So know, the reasoning behind that was because we didn't yeah. want to, uh, you know, so Miss Sandy, who runs the front end over on uh, uh, in LaGrange is, you know, so you don't want to take all of their help at one time. You know, we want them to be able to come work at Buckner uh, if that's what they truly want to do. But it's a balance so we can make sure that <laughs> the associates that are still in, in LaGrange aren't put at a disadvantage, making it difficult for them. And then that we don't create a, a poor customer experience either. I know it's only been open now for a couple of weeks, but have you been able to measure the impact on the LaGrange store? We have. And so it's actually, so another one of the blessings is it's actually right on target for what we expected to come from there. Um, but we've gained more from the market than what we thought we would that's coming from outside of Kroger. Been a lot of conversation in the community that this was going to be a matter of time before that closure closed. Oh, no way. So they are still doing a great volume of business there. Um, it, it's in no way uh, in any kind of danger of, of closing. You know, I, the first store I ran in Owensboro, we did $275,000 a week in sales, and it's still open. And this LaGrange is doing far more than that. Um, so it, it's going to, it will be healthy and it will actually, you know, we were kind of having a conversation earlier. Uh, that store was doing far more business than it was truly designed to do, um, which is a great problem to have, but it creates a breakdown in all of our processes and the inventory cycles that, um, you know, I feel like the, the community has been seeing and feeling uh, when they shop there. So you will actually begin to see it, you know, have a different experience when you go in there. It won't be as crowded and they'll be able to start getting on a better inventory cycle uh, to have an even better experience. Yes. So this store is not in that direction. This store is truly traditional, um, what you would be used to. Now, we are building stores that are more um, in, in, in that line. Um, it, but so as a company, we truly do. You, you'll you'll see many different formats of stores and you know I mean we we do so many different things so we can make sure we're providing the customer what they want where they want it how they want it and so there are some spaces you know in cities to where they want that kind of experience and um, we are building uh, a store very similar to that format in Cincinnati um, to where all departments are almost you don't see very many people right um, now that community embraces that they love that. Um, but I, I don't know that, I don't know that we would want to see that in, in here yet. <laughs> yeah, no, this one you'll, you'll see it's, um, very, very much traditional to what you would be used to. Yes. Oh goodness. Um, no kidding. a lot. Yeah. So, Hmm. I don't know. I would have to go back and count them. You know, so all of our all of our soft drink vendors, uh, 
chips, you know, you think Frito-Lay, Mission. Um, Is that in the range of like a hundred or even a thousand? No. So just the store, you know, we're typically going to have 20 to 30 in a day. Uh, and, you know, they will rotate through a schedule. Yeah, so we'll use, um, you might be talking about like Empire or um, PLM. PLM marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's private label marketing. Um, you'll see them. Um, but they do, so, and they, you know, they just help measure and, and ensure, help us out with compliances on different, <laughs> different things. You know, Lane, the customer base for the LaGrange store has a lot to do with Henry and Trimble. Absolutely. So when they come down the last day of the morning, they're going to get off. That, that's what they're used to doing. And they're going to get off right there. Mm -hmm. and feel, that's why they're still doing great business. Right. And then between them and Shelbyville also is a great deal of people that choose to come to a smaller store than because Shelbyville is so large. <laughs> yes, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so High Point, is, and they, they partner with Dare to Care. Um, so Bob Hancock helps. I don't know if many people might know him. So he comes in and uh, picks up a lot of those. And then um, I just met with somebody from Red Cross that was speaking about Here we go. Uh, so we, we talked about that earlier to make sure that we can partner as well. So, um, you know, if you look up Kroger, we, we truly do have a mission to say, um, you know, we're on a journey to zero hunger, zero waste. And if you look on our website, you'll see that uh, very frequently. We've actually got several manufacturing facilities that are already certified zero waste. Um, but in stores, we're doing lots of different things to, debate, to, to divert um, waste that goes to landfills, whether it's through donation programs or um, production tools, just different things that help us make smarter decisions on what we produce and then should we miss the mark, make sure that we're able to get it somewhere that can it can still be used. This is a little different. I'm kind of curious what the experience was like when I guess you applied to be the first manager of a brand new store. And then what it was like when you found out you were selected to do that. Tell us a little bit about that. Process. So with this one, as you move up through larger format stores, um, you don't necessarily get to apply for anything. You kind of just get picked and though you get the call that says what you're going to be doing, uh, um, which was, it was amazing, right? This is the first net new store we've built in almost 15 years. So Mount Washington was the last new store in a new community that we built. Um, and Kevin Edmonds, our district manager gave me a call and, um, I was actually, you know, Bardstown's a different district from this one. And, um, uh, you know, he just called me out of the blue and asked him to come into the our division office in Louisville and uh, talk to him about coming to to open up the store. So, not necessarily something you can say. No, I don't know that I really feel like doing that. Uh, so it it was it was awesome. It's uh, it's been a neat experience. I'm sorry. I've got four boys, so I, I, they've moved around. This is the first time they've been able to be in the same school for – this is their third year in the same school, and there for a while they were in a new one every year. Uh, so I'm just making the drive for now until they they, t they tell me what we're going to do. Lane, I know that Kroger and LaGrange has a liquor store next to it. Do you all have one? I didn't know. Absolutely, yes, sir. So it's down – if you're looking at the front of the building, it's all the way down on the right-hand side. Okay. And um, actually has a drive through true Kentucky fashion for wine and spirit stores. We yeah, they can't sell it inside of the store, can they? We can't sell wine and spirits, anything, anyone that's considered a grocery store. So you sell more groceries than you do drugs. Gotcha. Uh, you can't sell inside the store. Uh, that's why you'll see it inside of CVS, Walgreens, those types of places, because they don't sell as much grocery. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> oh, 
awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, so thinking about, you know, we've got 20 people trying to help bring on 250 into what, what's normal for us. Um, and, and that's been so far um, the hardest thing I've ever done in, in my career because uh, they're, you know, your leaders start to get frustrated because, you know, they're not used to having a team that's not certain on what to do and, and truly having to help kind of step-by-step step everything for the whole day. Um, our division and district staff has been amazing. No one helping come in and helping support us and uh, training associates to, to help with that frustration for department leaders and the associates. Uh, and then the next one would just be kind of the swing of business. So, um, you know, we, we've seen over the last two weekends, this is very much a weekend mm -hmm. destination. Uh, so you go from Wednesday, um, you know, it was a very slow day to Sunday. We'll double up what we do on Wednesday. So I hadn't been used to that kind of shift. And so that's been something that we've had to start to teach the team to manage. <laughs> they were awesome. They were. I mean, I just uh, want to mention to you that uh, the Lagrange Grocery Club does have an open classification for uh, grocery uh, store manager. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, let you know that that classification is open. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I've already approached this topic with you. Know what we do? Yeah. The, the other question, of course, since we have Salvation Army here, is I'm sure I'm that those uh, signage sheets are already full. I'm probably going to need to have another bell ringing location. So, do you allow Salvation Army yeah. bell ringing? Oh, place? well, I, absolutely. I would be begging for it if we can't get it set up. That's. Perfect. Yeah, it's really low right now uh, because everybody's wanting to come in and see the store. Yeah, so if we could get to 10%, that, that's usually um, a pretty happy. It just depends on... It, one more question. Yes, go ahead. Absolutely. So they'll pick fresh in a store, uh, but everything else is actually picked in one of our fulfillment centers. So it's another one of the trying to give customers what they want, where they want it, when they want it. Um, you know, you'll see them, you go on vacation to Florida, you're going to see Kroger trucks down there. You won't see the first brick and mortar store, uh, but we have these fulfillment centers that are actually, um, we partnered with a company from Europe uh, to build these sheds and, and pick and select orders with robots. Um, and so you, they use that to pick everything that's not fresh and then they'll pick the fresh at the store and deliver it. Thank so. you. Al, Blaine, thank, thank you, you so much for having me out. Thank you. Al has something to present you. Well, that was really enjoyed the presentation. It's great having the community, the new store, the new Kroger store. And we will be donating in your name to the uh, Rotary International Polio Plus program to try to eradicate polio uh, in the whole world. And we'll make that donation and thanks for you coming here today. And we have the, our Rotary coin with the four-way test on it. We hope you'll remember your day here at Rotary. Absolutely. And uh, we're just so glad you came. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Al. Again, thank you, Lane. Thank you for our ladies from Salvation uh, and the uh, Lions Club, right? Yeah. Yes. Juanas Club. Juanas Club. Okay. All right. You're the team. There you go, folks. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and be dismissed. What? <laughs> Okay, I tell you what. <laughs> Why don't we do this? Oh, yeah. So we just need to work out when. What color are we? Green. Pick a ticket, Al. So whenever you're ready, just just came out. I'll have her come get it. That sounds good. Well, if there's a it that works better one, for it eight, for her. Four. That way she, you know. Can we just get it for her, That would be.
Because that's a lot to hold. So one six four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe just let me know what works for. We'll have it together. Right there. No, that way she is a part of the Sure. So, yes. Okay. That, that's fine. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And unfortunately, we had the big winter about four weeks ago, right, James? We had a big winter about four weeks ago. A lot of students. I get it. I get it. I may have to send him some. Well, show us your spending skills. I know you, I, I wrote his name down on my notebook from that day. Um, text me his name so I can give it to her. Okay. Oh, and then what color was it? Spot for <laughs> King sure she gets in. Okay. Nice to meet you. Show up. Yeah. Can I go now? Can I go? Okay. One of these times I will. From one grocery guy to another. My dad <laughs> owned a Red Island store way back in the day. It was a Midwest chain. Um, we ran that, so I grew up in the grocery uh, business. It's it's one of those things that it's like it gets in your blood. You can't well, do something. You meet a lot of great people. I mean, I love good it. friends that were the vendors from you know, the Frito ladies to the Coca Cola. Yeah. You know, just like just say friends. welcome. Glad oh, to have you. Thank you so much. And it is an amazing store. Oh, I love it. I it's like I went over to my wife. I was actually in the liquor store before the grocery store was open. So it's coming along. I can tell you guys are still like looking to get in you know, more. More inventory coming in. Yeah, so you'll see us really in these next two weeks. Yeah. You'll see, especially up and down the aisles and in dairy. So all of those guys are brand new. Yeah. And it's hard to it's hard to teach them what to expect till you till you stumble. Yeah. And you're like, this was what I was talking to you about. This is what I was trying to tell you. And now here we are, and here's how we get out of it. In fact, you got 220 the meat is freaking Crazy, amazing. I was just going to ask this man if he could uh, help us out with the board on the Red Cross as well. Could you talk to Margaret? Talk to Margaret. Talk to him yeah. about Rotarian. We'd love to have you join the Rotary and Oldham County. Yeah, you can get involved in this community. There's a lot of so We're Red all on Cross. The same board. The Red Cross <laughs> awesome. board is very different here because it's uh, it's, it's uh, like it's a chapter just for Oldham County and actually serves Oldham County, Henry County, uh, and 